I've been using this as my PC monitor for two months now. How's it holding up? Hey guys, it's Bushwhack18 and today it's time for a two month check-in on the LG C9 OLED that I'm using as my exclusive primary PC gaming monitor. So we have a couple questions here about how it's holding up. First thing I want to get into is the build quality. I didn't really get into this in my first review and I actually have some footage today. So this LG C9 has a great low profile sturdy build starting with the stand. The stand is super under the radar. It's not very high. And it's got a really sleek look to it not to mention it's got a deep base and it's sturdy it's very very sturdy this tv isn't going anywhere and it's gonna look great the screen at least the top half of the screen is ultra thin we're talking like millimeters here it's so thin that when i went to set this thing up i thought i was gonna snap it in half and then have to hang it on my wall as like a modern art masterpiece i was very concerned so you just make sure when you're setting this thing up that you grab the right parts you want to grab the bottom part where it's thicker until it's into position and all that and just be careful be careful it's thin it's beautiful but that top part might be fragile if you go grabbing it it might snap right off who knows and they definitely uh combine those two things it fits right on a desk if your desk is deep enough this thing is fitting on your desk for an ultimately awesome experience uh, if your desk is not deep enough you're gonna have some problems from playing too close i'm at least three feet away at all times when i'm playing on this and that's about as close as I'm going to want this 55 inch TV. So is it still fun to game on? Is this still my dream gaming monitor? The answer is going to be absolutely. This thing is amazing to game on. It's beautiful to start with. It's just beautiful image quality, but it's got all the gaming features you want in a high end gaming monitor. We got HDMI 2.1. We got 120 Hertz high refresh rate. We got extremely low elite level input lag. We got ultra fast response times faster than even a TN panel. That's just inherently the technology of OLED. Not to mention now it's G-Sync compatible. This thing is smooth, fast, responsive, mind-blowing, beautiful. I love it! The big question in the giant snowman in the room is burning. Everyone wants to know about burning on the OLED, especially in a PC monitor territory where you have icons all over the screen, a lot of static imagery, you have HUDs in the gameplay, things like this. I ran a very simple burn-in test. I'm not the professor of burn-ins. I'm not a ultra doctor burn-in super professional arting scientist. But according to my test, which was just a red screen, I observed no visible burn-in after two months. We'll keep doing this throughout the months to see if, if any accumulates. But then again, I don't use this, this TV in an ultra, ultra hardcore fashion. I game a lot on it. I use it as a PC monitor, but I don't leave it running when I'm not in the room. I'm not one of these people. So just make sure you turn it off, take proper precautions, and then you'll be just fine. It'll be a good time. So is it still worth it? Is the LG C955 inch OLED still worth your $1,500 after two months of gaming on it and using it as my primary PC monitor? Absolutely. If you're looking for something in this price range, this is probably where you wanna go because it still doubles as a TV. Watching football on this thing is awesome. Watching movies on this thing is awesome. And it competes with any high-end gaming monitor on the market. Beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. Guys, I'm Bushwhack18. I stream live on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Thanks for hanging out with me today. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. See you later! Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely out.